So this video is going to give you absolute proof of Timothy Dixon's lying divinations. And he's even trying to justify in this video that it happened before he got a chance to load the video that it happened a few days before. And this is his Mount Etna prophecy that he supposedly, and this is the only prophecy that basically has come to pass in his opinion where he swears that uh, the media is covering up all of his other prophecy. But pay attention to what he says and how he's trying to, to justify something happening before he got a chance to upload it. Watch closely. Listen. I was loading it. So I thought, Lord, I'm, I'm too late for that. But, but I, I loaded it anyway. And after that, the Lord told me to tell that, that Etna would, and named it Etna, would blow. And uh, that happened. And I listened to the Lord that time. And within something like five and a half, six hours after the Lord spoke that, exactly what God said come to pass. And that's also time stamp. But God has spoke these things and chosen people that we're going to speak things. God's Yeah, it's time stamped and I'm about to prove it to you. This is the prophecy that he is so very proud of. Uh, here's where his video where he made that prophecy. Here's your time stamp, February the 16th. This is when he did that video, that su supposed Mount Etna prophecy. Now this, I want to give you, this is the update on GoEtna.com, one of its official websites. This was an update that was even a day before his prophecy came to pass. And you need to read what it's saying here, that it's uh, increasing every 24 hours, that, that it became lar it's becoming larger and larger, and uh, that it erupts every two or three days. But here's the better part, people. This was just an update that was still a day before his prophecy had occurred. Look at this. I'm going to show you when it actually uh, began erupting. There's the other official website for Mount Etna, which is... Uh, Unlimited Etna, I think is what it's called. You can go check it out for yourself. Look when it began erupting, people. December the 13th. That was over a month before he ever prophesied this. Over a month. There it is for yourself. On Etna Unlimited or Unlimited Etna website. And you can go to goetna.com. is another one of its official websites. See... It was erupting and only increasing in its size. The, the lava flows was only increasing every 24 hours since December the 30th. I mean, I'm sorry, the 13th. Over a month before he ever. And I, I caught this when he did it because I'd been seeing it. You know, I, I, I enjoy seeing a, a volcano eruption. They're doing tours of this volcano. He acts like this is judgment on Italy. They're they're giving out tours because it's a beautiful sight. You know the magnificent power of God. But he's trying to say this is judgment. If anything, this has brought commerce and uh and money. Money's into Italy. This hadn't been judgment on them. They're making a fortune off of this. This has been a good thing for them because it is a, a pretty spectacular eruption. It's not done any damage or caused any judgment on these people. Just like the one in Iceland. It's, it's become a tourist attraction. So see that it was an entire over a month before he made the prophecy. And I'd called him out when he did this because I'd seen it all over the news, all over social media, and called him on it. That he didn't uh, prophesy. And this was his silver fox uh video from February the 16th. See that they even did an update on February the 15th. So he didn't prophesize Etna. It had already been occurring, but he wants you to be so ignorant that you don't you don't go fact check these things. There's the update from goetna.com, one of its other officials, a day before his prophecy had even occurred. 
So, and realize this was something of an attempt in his, and this was in his very last video, uh, an attempt to try to make people believe he prophesied something, but he didn't prophesy anything. And he's even trying to justify, well, you know, it might've happened. I, I didn't get it uploaded in time before it happened. Listen again. I was loading it. So I thought, Lord, I'm, I'm too late for that. But, but I, I loaded it anyway. And after that, the Lord told me to tell that, that Etna would, and named it Etna, would blow. And uh, that happened. And I listened to the Lord that time. And within something like five and a half, six hours after the Lord spoke that, exactly what God said come to pass. And that's also time stamped. But God has spoke these things and chosen people that we're going to speak things. God's Remember what the Bible said about the false prophets. There would be lying signs and wonders, and this is what they're all doing. They're One of the things they do, they'll write something down on a piece of paper and put a previous uh, date on it, and then say, look, see, I prophesied this event back in such and such a day. That's not proof of anything other than you wrote something down after the fact and put a, a post-dated it. You just post-dated it is all they did. And ones like Robin Bullock, I, I've noticed what they're doing is they're getting in their studios and they're making videos as if it happened if they prophesied something beforehand and then only now releasing the videos because their followers will be like, well, where can I find the original video at uh, that's time-stamped and dated? It, they can't. You can't find it. Because that's how they do. That's the trickery. That is the lying signs and wonders that were warned about in the Bible that these ones would be doing. Just like Timothy now that I have proven he didn't prophesy Mount Etna. It was already erupting steadily for over a month before he ever mentioned it. So let me tell you this, people. These are the ones that are deceiving uh, the some of these elderly women. And guess what? These elderly people are sending them all of their almighty dollars. And guess what? That's your inheritance, people, for ones that, uh, that know what these people are about. They're deceiving the people out of their inheritance. Just like Jacob tried to deceive uh, Esau out of his inheritance. They're behaving just like Jacob did before he became Israel. And why I did that parallel between Israel and Jacob? These ones are, are behaving just like Jacob and are being measured. So realize that. But let me give you a, a modern day, uh, very famous saying. And this goes back to my previous video about timothy dixon how he tries to argue that he's making these lying divinations up for good reason he's he's got uh good intentions remember what uh the old famous saying the road to perdition is paved with good intentions the only good intentions he has is to prophesy for satan and get those almighty dollars. That's all he's doing. Now, I've absolutely proven to you he is a false prophet with lying divinations, and he didn't prophesy Mount Etna. There's your absolute proof that you can check it out for yourself. It had been steadily erupting since December 13th of 2020, and he didn't prophesy on it until February the 16th of 2020 over a month after it had already been steadily erupting. So be aware of the false prophets, people, and their lying signs and wonders. God bless.